Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I thought it would be fun to show you how I make my forging mix for my rats. So, I know today's not Friday, so not Forging Friday, but we're going to pretend it's an honorary Friday because I just feel like giving the rats some forging stuff today, and that is what I'm going to do. So, I like to make my rats forging mix from just whatever I have, which is not exactly a very precise process, but you know, it works and uh, it does mean that I get to utilize all these treats that I get from the ratty boxes because with me only having five rats currently and them only getting this treat mix once a week, they don't really go through the treats very quickly. Uh, so I end up with quite a lot of them and uh, I need some way to use them. So this treat mix works really well. Most of their treats, of course, come from their training treats, which are things like Cheerios. I know this is not a Cheerio container, but as you can see, I put Cheerios in it. It's going to need to be replaced at some point and Gerber puffs along with yogurt and sometimes meat baby food. But these treats here are not usually used for training because they simply don't really suit that purpose. So these are better suited for using for like foraging, uh, which is what I'm going to use them for. So I'm going to go ahead and make a foraging mix real quick and put it in here. And then we're going to put some in the rat's foraging toys. So here we go. Okay, so to get started, I think I'm going to first put some of these sweet potato treats in there. Uh, honestly, I kind of forgot I had this, but thankfully it, like most of the dry treats I have, are very good at being stored uh, for long periods of time, as long as you keep them in the airtight containers, and as long as you are keeping them in a cool room, which, well, this is the basement, so it stays pretty cool down here. So we're just going to put a little bit in here. These ones actually smell really good. I could totally see myself eating them. Probably not the best thing to admit that I'd eat any of my rat's treats, but... Honestly, I give them a lot of human treats, so what's to say that I can't eat some of the rat treats? Okay, so that's going to be our first one. These kind of look like dog pellets. And I think, let's see, and I think for the second one, I want to put some of this little mix here. I got this with the Lady Goldenfinch, uh, I believe, medications, and I've used most of it, but there's still a little bit left. So we're going to put a little bit in there. This has some hay in it, some nuts, uh, other good stuff that the rats like. So we're just going to put some of that in there. There we go. Okay. Okay, then I have some banana chips. These are kind of big, so I'm going to break them up uh, into pieces. I'll probably just put all of this in there. I'm just going to break them into little bits. Oops, I lost one there. The main reason I'm breaking them up is because my foraging toys can't really hold huge chunks of food in them, so these won't really work otherwise. And I do occasionally use banana chips during training, uh, mainly for simple training, which is something I've been doing with my rats, but not really outside of that, so I do have quite a few of them. Next, I'm going to put in some of this mix I got from the Misfit Mischief Market box. This is just some Cheerios and some, I think, dried carrots, uh, some little puffed rice things, some mealworms, just a bunch of yummy stuff. I'm just going to put a lot in there, apparently. Well, that's okay. Then some of the blueberry Cheerios. Those went over really well with my rats. They really like these. I actually really like them, too. They're so tasty. Okay, here is... Something I'm very excited to put in there. These are mealworms, also from the Misfit Mischief Market box. You can see lots of mealworms. Oops, I just dropped one. Gotta find that so that my brother doesn't end up standing on it. Lots of yummy mealworms. Ugh, they feel so weird. Next up, we have some pumpkin seeds. I can like some pumpkin seeds in there. Mm. We have some oats. Just a of those. There we go. And then finally, I'm going to put some dried apricots in there. And I think that will be it for this one. Oops. I'm kind of stuck in the bag. There we go. Here's our mix. That 
looks like a rat's dream. Mmm, tasty. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put it in the foraging toys. Okay, so I've decided on my three foraging toys for this week, and I'm going to need to put some of the foraging mix into each of them. So first of all, we have the bird foraging tumbler. The rats have to spin this around to get the food out. And with this one, you have to be careful not to put too many large things because they can clog up this kind of thin part that the rats get the food from. And of course, if you want to make it harder, you can put less food. I'm just going to put a little bit because I do not want to overdo it. Ah, slimy, wormy dude. Wormy dude. There we go. Yeah, I'll put a little bit more. Don't want to be too generous with the rattos. There we go. Oops. I like to keep it at its normal length so you can see. And then it goes down like that. Oh, good. It's working. The next one is my snack rack, which needs to be rotated to go up. Oh my god, I hate rotating this up. The rats are better at this than I am, which is not great. Okay, here, I found it. It's number one. I always put it on the uh, easier setting. Oh, I really, really am not a fan of putting the food in, though, because it kind of sucks. Okay, here we go. I'll put a little bit of that. There we go, like this. And here's the hard part because you gotta you gotta kind of lift it up and put it like this. Yep. Yeah, this one's always a little bit messy to use, but it's okay. The rats like it. Just kind of like trying to shove things in between the cracks. Usually when I use their normal food for this, it's nice because well. The Oxbo is these little flat triangles, so you can literally just shove it between the cracks. Oh my god, do not fall down on me. Do not fall down on me. Also, I usually do this in the cage so it's kind of supported halfway, but that's eh, okay. I'm just going to be shoving in, shoving in some treats. This one doesn't really take too much food, so there we go. Ah, I kind of actually put it in a little bit too much, but that's okay. There we go. And then finally, oh, these are not going to be fun. Okay, so this one I'm going to put in the cage first. I have never filled this one outside the cage, and I don't think that's going to end well. So let's put this in the cage, and then I'll fill it up in there. Okay, here we go. Just hang up this little sucker. There we go. Okay, so now I need to go and get the mix. I'll be right back. And this... This is why I keep a chinchilla ledge in the cage, so I can just prop up the iPad and film up here. I'm just going to put a little bit in here because this is the easiest toy. I feel like with the easiest toys, they should get less forging mix because, well, it's not as difficult for them. Hello, Egg. Egg is like, oh, I heard treats. I did hear treats. Egg, wait your turn. No, wait, wait, no. back off, back off. Hey, hey, not cool. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry, I'm making the whole cage move. Okay, so I'm gonna put the other ones in here and then we'll let the rats go ahead and do it. No, 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 no. Patience, patience, oh my gosh. Okay, so this one I'm gonna put right here. I cannot see. I am straddling the iPad and this is not working. Aha! Did it! I really hope the iPad recorded that because uh, I don't want to do it again. Okay, I'm going to need to move this back below it. Okay, sorry that. And now let's put the last one in. The last one goes down here. And you can tell where it was because the rats already opened it twice. I just had some normal oxbow and one peanut in it. And this is what the peanut did. Do you see this? Freaking messy rats. Okay. Just now that I attached it there. And then I also like to attach it to this one. Come on. 
Yeah, maybe showing this off wasn't exactly uh, my best idea, but I tried. So then I like to put it through there again. Aha! Okay. No. Now we just... Perfect! So, now the rats can come and they can move this, and once they move it, it'll go all the way down and they'll be able to get to the treats, which we'll see if I actually can get that on camera. So now let's go ahead and see the rats using them. Okay, so a few of the rats have woke up and, uh, well, I can see one of <laughs> What the heck? And you can see omelets going for it. Oh, she grabbed something. I don't know what. Hi, Donut. You gonna go get some treats? Donut is more focused on coming out to play because it's time for their free range. She's like, please, please just take me to free range. No, I don't want treats. I just want to. I just want to run around. I'm a donut. Oh, there she goes for another one. Where'd you go, donut? <laughs> oh, no, I got one. <laughs> oh, good job. Uh, you might have noticed that I removed the four-way foraging toy and the reason for that is because I was trying to get a video of the rats using the other foraging toys and the four-way foraging toy is the easiest of the three so of course the rats are going for that first and I wanted them to show off the other foraging toys so I thought well I'll just remove it for now and I'll put it back after this video. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Anyways as you can see they are really enjoying their foraging toys and all of them in particular is being a little butt and totally cheating on the snack rack foraging toy. She's supposed to open it but someone is grabbing treats from between the layers dang it olive uh, it's okay Alma ends up opening it at the end of this clip uh, because she is actually following the rules thank you Alma. <laughs> Uh, I kid, but seriously, these foraging toys are all about just having the rats investigate them and enjoy figuring them out, so it really doesn't matter how they open them, as long as they have fun. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you what I kind of do with my rats when I bring out the foraging toys each Friday. I do always have foraging toys in the rat's cage, but they usually just have their normal oxbow and sometimes an extra Gerber puff or nut or something like that to encourage the rats to use them a little more. Uh, but for the most part, they don't get anything else in the foraging toys until Friday when they get their foraging mix in it, along with oxbow, which, well, they always have available in the cage. Anyways, I will end up removing this foraging mix after the day is over because I don't want them to overdo on it, but whatever they get right now is for them to enjoy. So enjoy little rats, and uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye! Finally, someone opened it. Instead of being a cheater, like someone, Olive, see this is how it's supposed to be opened.